All right there, Sandy. Uh, we're gonna get started with the treatment. So this young lady's here to get some improvement in the wrinkles and pigment around her mouth. Pardon me, let me bring this down a little bit. And so we're gonna be using the Venus Viva radio frequency microneedling system to improve the look of her perioral area. Here we go. She's had topical anesthetic on for 20 minutes and I did some dental blocks just to make her comfortable. This will be her first treatment. Yep, right there under the nerves from the septum. It's a little sensitive. We have definitely given her a pretty good start to the heat. All right. She can expect downtimes of about 24 hours of just cosmetic downtime. A little bit of pinkness around the face, giving her a little bit of a clown face until tomorrow when she can wear makeup and sunblock pretty easily. Living here in Denver, it's very important that sunblock get used after procedures, but in general, sunblock should be used every day whether you're going out in the sun or not. I'm a big fan of a 50 SPF sunblock. The Venus Viva radio frequency microneedling system has 160 pins of radio frequency energy that go in millions of times a second to depths down to 500 micrometers. So it does provide a very nice deep tissue heating. This is about as pink as she's going to get. It's really not that bad. So we're going to do round two, focusing primarily on the areas where she has the most wrinkling now. And that would be in the perioral area. You'll notice she's got a little bit of melasma around her mouth. It's an interesting place to have it, but she should notice even with this first treatment a fairly significant reduction in the abnormal coloring. And like I said, we're just focusing on the areas of wrinkling at this point. As we get older, there's a lot of volume loss around the mouth that can make wrinkles more prominent. They call them smoker's lines, but a lot of people coming into this office aren't smokers, but they still have the volume loss and they have the crinkling of the, the lips. Fillers often used to improve this. Botox is always a good adjunct. That's round two. I'm going to do two more rounds to the actual wrinkles themselves and then we'll call that call her first treatment a success. This is what she's here for more than anything else is these lip wrinkles. Sometimes in a treated area you'll see that it still looks white and that's skin blanching. It doesn't mean that the area hasn't been treated. It just means that the blood supply in the area is temporarily stunted. But for safety, we go over those areas again just to make sure we haven't missed anything. So right here, this little bit of blanching. I'm going to treat this way. So she's had Three rounds. So here's round number four, and we'll call this the last round. There's a faint smell of burnt hair 
But outside of that, she's not really going to notice any peeling. And unless there's a big histamine reaction, there isn't a lot of swelling with this procedure. So cosmetically, the downtimes are fairly minimal. And that's her treatment. What did you think, Sandy? It was fine with me. All right. Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be, we'll be checking in with Sandy again.